Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson about how to expand linear expressions. So we're going to do some problems together on the first page, and then you have a chance to try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so what exactly does it mean to expand a linear expression? Alright, well basically what it means is we're going to multiply what's inside the bracket by what's on the outside of the bracket. All right. So let's say, for example, we have a group of parentheses or a bracket. And let's say we have, I don't know, the, the uh, expression x plus 4 there. And then let's say on the outside, we're going to have a 7. All right. So we're going to multiply each term inside the bracket by what's outside the bracket. So 7 times x is 7x. And then plus 7 times 4 is 28. All right. Now, this should look familiar to you. All right. This is basically also the distributive property. All right, so distributive property. So let's do three together. So here we have five groups of happy face plus sad face. So five times happy face is five happies. And then five times a sad face is five sad faces. All right, now this time we have a negative 4. So again, remember our rules about uh, multiplying positive and negatives. So negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. And then negative 4 times 5y is negative 20y. And there it is. All right, and then the last one we have is 1 third times 9x minus 6y plus 12. So 1 third times 9x uh, is going to give us 3x. And then 1 third times 6y is a 2y. But notice we hit, we're subtracting that, right? So it's going to be minus 2y. And then 1 third times 12 is 4, so plus 4. So again, when we expand the linear function, we multiply the outside term by everything inside the inside uh, expression. So let's say we do 1 third times 9x, 1 third times negative 6y, and then 1 third times 12. And there it is. All right, so now that you understand how to expand linear expressions, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do with these practice problems. So here we have two groups of 3n plus 5. So 2 times 3n, that will give us 6n, plus, and then 2 times 5 gives us 10. So 6n plus 5, that's our answer. Uh, the next one, we have negative 3 times 7x minus 15. Well, negative 3 times 7x is negative 21x. And then negative 3 times a negative 15, well, a negative times a negative is a positive, right? That's going to be plus 45. And then finally, we have 1 half times 10x minus 20y plus 8. 1 half times 10x is 5x minus 1 half times 20y is 10y and then plus 1 half times 8 is 4 and that is the answer. Alright, how'd you do?